Hi friends, welcome to Zio Entire. Today I am going to share one more video with new idea in the subject of geology. So today's topic that is the isoptics. So what is the isoptics? In this video, I am going to share what are the different models put forth by different scientists. So that I am going to share in this video. The how isoptics is developed. So this is video regarding on these aspects. So what is isoptics? So isostasy is the general term. It is a scientific phenomenon, and this term is coined in 1989 by the American geologist that is Clarence Decker. The term isostasy is derived from the Greek word that is isostasis, which means the state of being in balance or equal state. So that is the isostasy. The isostasy idea that the lighter crust must be floating on the dense and underlying the mantle the isostasy of the theory of isostasy explain the tendency of the earth crust to get equilibrium and the distribution of the material in the earth's crust according to their gravitational values so the isostasy is the stability between the upstanding parts and low lying basins on the rotation rotating earth So this is regarding the isostasis. So the how are those uh, uh, isostasis concept is developed? So there are different scientists who put forward different theories. So we will see uh, what are the different theories uh, put forward by the different scientists. So first model, which is uh, keep in front of us, that is the George Biddle Airy's model. According to George Biddle Airy. the density of the crust is the same throughout the earth whenever we are going from one place to the another place the density of the material is constant throughout the crust because he told that the crust is not uniform the thick however the area hypothesis suggests that the thicker parts of the crust is sink down into the mantle while the thinner parts float on it the area hypothesis also described the earth crust has a rigid shell that floats on the mantle which although it is liquid so therefore is denser than the crust so according to this theory the continents are made up of rocks having different uniform density but their thickness or length varies from place to place in order to prove this concept eri took several pieces of iron of varying lengths and put them in a Basin full of mercury. These pieces of iron are sunk up to a varying depths, depending on upon their lengths. The same pattern may be demonstrated by taking wooden pieces of varying lengths. If put into the basin of water, these would sink in the water according to their lengths. If length is more, then the wooden piece will sink more. That is simple pattern. so this is a model according to this model it suggests that mountains have thick low density roof supporting mountains and that the depth of compensation was not con- constant but the density of the blocks was constant so it also suggests that most correct about what support large wide mountains but it took until the 1970s to prove this with seismic work that measured the thickness of the crust and lithosphere between the mountains so this is the first theory which is forward uh, which is uh, put forward by the uh, airy scientists then second theory regarding the isostasy that is the john john hendrick pratt he also proposed a hypothesis and that hypothesis said that the mountain ranges and their low density masses and extend higher above sea level than other masses of greater density Pratt hypothesis rests on his explanation that the low density of mountains ranges resulted from the expansion of the crust that was heated and kept in volume but it also in the density so this is regarding the uh, john pratt's hypothesis pratt suggests the mountains do not have roots that is a big discovery but instead the topography is compensated by less dense lighter block and that all topography was compensated at the same depths this is a bad smaller 
So Pratt was correct that the difference between the low standing ocean basins and the high standing continents is partially due to the fact that ocean have dense gabbro composition that is the cymatic composition whereas continents have lighter dense andesitic or granitic composition of the crust so these two scientists first discovered first put forward the hypothesis regarding the isosceles so we will compare these two hypotheses with one another one is the aries model and other one is the pratt's model what aries told aries told whenever we are moving from the earth the uniform density of the crustal material whereas pratt's told that varying density of crustal material whenever we are go from one place to the another place the density of the material is variable and then aries told varying depth up to the with root penetrates crustal material reaches whereas pratt's told that uniform depth up to crustal material aries also told deeper root below the mountains mountains have roots upon the aries model and smaller being the plane when we are moving from the plane the roots are very very low or roots are the smaller according to the pratt's no root formation but the level of compensation is found at the great depth according to the facts so this is the regarding the simple comparative comparison between the aries model and pratt's model so according to aries concept or according to aries hypothesis or according to aries uh, model it is known that it is better to explanation of the mountains within the continental region according to pratt's model according to pratt's theory it is explain it explain the difference between continents and oceans since the continents crust is largely granitic and therefore which is less dense than the basaltic ocean basins so the study of isosceles is very important because the understanding the dynamics of the isosceles it is very useful or it is uh, very helpful to figure out more concept con complex phenomena such as mountain building activities sedimentary and sedimentary basin formations the break up of continents and the formation of new ocean basins so therefore this theory of isosceles is very very important so this theory of isosceles is depend on the buoyancy and gravity forces it is the state of gravitational equilibrium between earth's crust and mantle i hope this video uh, useful to you